So one of the questions that comes up all the time is what is the value of art? What does it mean to have art in public spaces? Uh, because it can cost quite a bit to have murals or sculptures or put on events like this. These are truly art festivals. And part of it is that it touches our heart, that the arts are universal. They don't have particular single language. These opportunities when we use performances and dance and music and visual art that people can come to it and it just pulls at their inside, right? It's, it's very soul touching. One thing that is so special about chalk art and street painting is that it's completely accessible. Chalk itself is a mostly affordable medium and uh, we call our United States chalk artists street painters. And so it has always been about bringing the art to the people, about using a very ephemeral media and recreating bold, dramatic masterpieces on an everyday surface. So I'm a visual artist. Um, I have my bachelor's in painting. After I graduated in 2004, I started doing murals. So I looked at, okay, income generating, murals working with clients, being challenged on scale, and I started working with a mural crew in Southern California. And that first year he said, would you like to work on our chalk crew? We're doing a chalk festival. I had no idea what that was. And within a few hours I fell in love with it. And by the end of that day and moving into the second day of the festival, I was chalking my own images. Since then, I have been chalking around the country. I travel to other festivals all over the United States, and I do images uh, anywhere from 10 foot by 10 foot, 9 foot by 12 foot, and when we get bigger than that, I always bring in other artists to work with me on a team. I think we all love to daydream, and as an event coordinator, I do this because I want the people to enjoy it. I, want, I can use my energy and my skill sets to create things that hundreds of thousands of people can come and create a memory with their own family or their own friends. When I daydream about what La Strada de Pastelli is 2030, um, I really see it continuing this Italian tradition, continuing the chalk art because it's so accessible, continuing to elevate our local artists to this new medium, bringing in talent from around the country to showcase all these tips and techniques and all the different ways that you can use literally pool noodles to blend your pastels. Uh, and I just see it growing in a way that it maintains its space and its natural flow. We also do a lot because 2D40 who produces this event is a nonprofit. We do a lot of work with our fellow nonprofits and we invite them to be vendors at our, our event. And we just say, come, talk about what you do, have a hands-on activity. This is a family event. This chalk festival is completely unique from any other festival that's offered in our three county areas. And it's because it is built on the back of very caliber professional chalk artists. When we talk about arts today, we talk even more about the arts. We, we go beyond it being an oil painting or a sculpture and we talk about design as an art form. We talk about industries as an art form. So that is why festivals like this are so valuable because it can open up a thousand doors that we might not see. Art in public spaces, they touch our heart, they're universal languages, they transcend what you think you can do right now to what you can be 20 years from now.